Hey Aquarius, today we're doing your love read. This is for anyone, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the sign of Aquarius. And as always, a general read, you guys. So take what resonates. And as always, leave what doesn't. Um, reminder, Aquarius, I am taking in personal readings now. So my email is in the description box below. Um, these readings are um, an hour minimum. And I will send you information, obviously, on the rest to personal one-on-one -on -one with me. And um, it, it would be nice to meet some of you. So if you guys are interested, again, the email um, is in the inbox below. So anyways, I'm picking up this um, energy of there's there's a reason why something is being taken away. So it's like, I know it's so cliche, but something was teared down. The message I'm getting is something was teared down for something bigger here aqua so um whatever the space is because all of you are in t different timelines whatever the space is it there's a reason it was it was disrupted you know there, there's a disruption i'm feeling tower energy here let's see Okay, so let's see what spirit is giving. Yes, so very soon. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. I think something right now is a time of reflection. So this is about decision, what we're attracting, attraction. I think this is definitely, um, the, the disruption was to um, a lot of the times disruption and pain is what gives fuel and i feel for some of you it's like a fuel coming from this passion and true love so if this had to do with an energy or a, an argument or a, a breakup this has to do with what you're bringing in i am although i am feeling um a good amount of you single um in this space where you're really just dealing with a lot of um maybe these these, these energies of the retrogrades um this month has been the season's been really tough i knew it oh, i knew it guys the disruption the tower this is the tower there is i I don't know what it is that I, I just feel this energy. It's hard to describe as a reader, but let's keep going because there's a reason for this. And that's as much as I know that there's something on the other side here, Aqua, really truly is. And there has there's like a silver lining there's a silver lining here and we may not see it yet but it also comes from this decision so let's see wow give me one more all right so the chariot there will be progress this is this is meant and the chariot i always feel this is the child of mother and father emperor and empress so the the child this is where the child gets fueled and now takes charge and you're in this space of determination and i think the fuel of whatever this disruption was is really going to like it's like you're just taking ownership yeah patience and planning and you're seven seven and that's a seven seven is a spiritual number it's his journey to self so you're in this space of self um and the tower is 16, one and six is seven also. So there is definitely a rebuild here. So we first had this recognition reward. This is three of pentacles. And to me, this is this is part of the rebuild here. Three of pentacles is when we, it's like a mirror um, here, Aqua. And the mirror is what we need to focus on for ourselves. How are we showing up for ourselves? Three of Pentacles is Minor Arcana to the Empress. So it's about our abundance as well. Five of Pentacles. 
um, more pentacles here. So this is a lot about our earthly plane and something some of you may have, you know, this could have even made you make decisions to change your job. It may have even disrupted how you feel like whatever happened in love and your, your heart space is yearning for change i know this is supposed to be a love reading but aqua you guys always give me some spiritual read it just it just this is just how it works with you guys i'm so connected i love your energy but we have ace of pentacles here more pentacles so it again it's a disruption to rebuild and suffering in silence it's the trigger something really really bothered you to have this rebuild and it's all leading to great love also passion in what you do right so allow your heart and soul to sing with joy it's a recharge to your soul i think things are shifting internally for you overall like i said something some of you yeah might you might even change your job and all this then brings a new a new life new job every different roots new love um so much so let me see, this is obviously, you guys know I love the spiritual journal oracle. This is obviously a spiritual transition. So let's see what your soul's transition is. Normally, Aqua, I do, I know that by this week I'm posting general reads, but um, they take so much out of me. And um, I just I just call, was called to do it, but yet the energies are coming kind of general. And I'm still using this deck because it still kind of gives me the vibe of general too to add extra layers of what the soul is needing so let's see what you need Aquarius what's your transition right now yeah self-actualization this is definitely something that is just you are on the road to achieve your full potential understand your core strengths and use them to your advantage yeah that's when you meet the child chariot once this fuel happens, now you take charge. The soul kind of just snaps. And now you're like, you see things different, even clearer. And it's a self, it's, a, it's about yourself. So now you understand your core strengths and you use them to your advantage. Now it's like full potential. You're, you're going to be on full blown. Um, and it's going to be a lot of planning here. Seven of Pentacles here. A lot of rerouting, replanting. I want to pull one more. Let's see what else they add for the soul transition that you're going through. What else for Aquarius spirit? Very important. Very, um, very strong. Okay. So some of you are light workers. You are a powerful being on earth, capable of shining a healing light on humanity. And some of you don't have to be. This is why I say I love being in your energy because as a as a empath and as a um, reader, obviously I'm a light worker. I can connect, so I know when I'm in an energy of strong, strong souls. You know that still have to find their way because we don't. We all awaken at different periods of our time, and so you are recognizing here. What's important here, Aqua, is that you are a powerful being on earth capable of shining a healing light on humanity this is a self-actualization so a lot of you it is an awakening of some sort and this disruption just shifts you into gear for more of you focusing on what you're attracting in your life um and your spirit being Okay, more on this disruption because clearly this tower is important here why the disruption wow lots of cards but i'm gonna take them yep queen of wands the fire oh wow guys i'm sorry i'm just amazed <laughs> i'm so amazed you see all this these are all wands these are all wands i'm gonna read them but this is the fire. This is the fuel. It's like this, this tower. All of a sudden, it's like boom. It's it's a fuel to change. So now you're dropping the burdens. Ten of Wands. You're more vigilant. It's like you've seen it, and now it's like you're getting into this energy of dropping it. Six of Wands. 
recognizing your faults, recognizing what you want. No one's going to get you off this high horse. Three of wands, positive moving fo movement forward, looking forward, making your plans. Some of you are traveling. Again, some of you are changing location. But queen of wands, the fire, that's it. You're in it. Don't matter gender side, you're in this energy of change, of transforming and all about your soul because you guys know I read the wands are action, but this, the wands represent our soul and your soul is in a space of seeing yourself right now. All this is going to lead to something bigger, a new love, um, a new passion work. Um, even a whole damn new place to live. Give me more of the Three of Pentacles. These readings literally have been coming across like so general um, this past week, but it's just the energy. It's really amazing. Give me more of the Three of Pentacles. All right, I'm not taking these, spirit, but I I feel the ones that came out. So we've got Five of Wands and the Magician. Yeah. So now you see it recognizing the three of pentacles that I said, like this was, you're recognizing your faults, five of wands, and now you're in this level of magician attraction, which is what we're talking about. You're manifesting different. Now you're like, I'm going to bring change. Uh, you know what? Three of pentacles. I see, I see where I need to adjust. I see where I need to fix. I see who's been intervening in my life. Um, the connections that just don't work for me. There's a lot that's being shown to you. The moon and the four of wands. A lot of you could be family dynamics, families, um, mother, father, sisters, cousins. It's it's a, a, a revealing of your efforts. Some of them, five of pentacles, have cost you money. And you're just making this drastic change in your life. Tower wanted to peep out again. I just saw it, but there goes the tower. It is, it represents this drastic decision to just be like, I'm done. These wands feel like a, a disruption is like, a, I'm done. I'm a, I need to focus on myself. I need to, I need to contribute to myself first, but this is gearing you towards also being an example. And it's a strong energy because it's not like you're, you're just going to be the example for the right people, the right kind of love. Um, give me more of this Five of Pentacles. Okay. So, okay, the moon and the Four of Wands. So the same energies, Page of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. A lot of you, it really was a family dynamic, um, a commitment, a relationship that you just gave too much effort to. And now you're reestablishing this and really choosing a path that um, brings you more fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, Ten of Cups. This is gonna require steps towards this um, I'm also feeling this energy of your efforts, right? So I'm going to clarify that page of pentacles. Okay, I'm on this page of pentacles. And people taking advantage of that. Yeah, look at this, six of pentacles. You were too generous. A lot of you were very generous in your relationship. Um, and it just kept, it, I feel an energy of depletion. This is a no more reading. This is like, mm -mm. yeah, no. No more. Five of cups in the bottom here. No more. Game on this prosperity begins. Why the ace of pentacles? Beautiful. I don't even need to go into it. Ace of pentacles with the ace of pentacles and the emperor. No more. You're taking back control of your life. You're in full blown. And this is why I was saying mother and father. All we're missing is the Empress here. And you've now taken the energy of both masculine, feminine energy, um, but also the protection of what they fuel us with to really replant ourselves differently. 
um, suffering in silence could be this empress energy where you're now nurturing your emotions. Remember this nine of, of swords. Why the nine of swords? Yeah, you're nurturing your emotions. Definitely nine of swords in the bottom. So the sun, this is allowing you to move towards your happiness. You need to revive your emotions. Ace of cups, new love too. All this is new because you got two aces, ace of pentacles and ace of cups. So this is a this is truly um a self-actualization where you get the clarity, understand your core strengths and use them to your advantage. You are on the road of to achieve your potential. This is not easy, you know, it's never an easy journey, but obviously clearly nine of swords this is a journey that you've got to walk through but it's illuminating so much more for you give me more on the sun page of cups yeah where you've been i i feel to recharge your your cup so this is the same cup page of cups is the cup the ace of cups you're recharging you know, the pages are youthful spirits and a youthful energy. And this is a recharge right now. Game on the sun of yourself, your self-love, your emotions. King of Pentacles. Yep. And bringing back your energy back to yourself, your money, your plans. Um, you know, to me, King of Pentacles and Emperor are the closest, right? We're, so we're talking about Pentacles, right? Because Emperor is representing two Aces, two Ace Pentacles, which means you're taking back your control of that, right? Your fire, it's the, this is a combination of the people have upset you enough, but also have triggered you enough to take back control. Okay, more it's Ace of Cups. Yeah, and we're back to the Seven of Pentacles. So now you're making plans here, right? You're more vigilant of what's been happening. Nine of Wands and look at another Ace. So you've got three Aces um, here, two Aces of Pentacles, Ace of Cups and Ace of Wands. But just like we said, Seven of Pentacles, now you're making plans. So this is setting you up. This is a setup to the fuel. Like you've been through too much. Nine of Wands is trials and tribulations. It's like, okay, now it's time for me to take care of myself. This refuels you, the Wands, the soul. And you're using this energy towards your life for you. All right, so let's see what the blockage is here. What's the blockage for Aquarius? Oof, yeah, wow. No wonder. No wonder. Aquarius, narcissist, cut cords to past and present narcs in your life. This is exactly what this looks like. For a lot of you, this is going to be it. And abusive, you need to heal from abuse, physical, emotional, and mental. You're doing away like someone, a lot of you've gotten to the point that's what I'm saying. This disruption is like the final straw. Like you guys don't F with Aquarius anymore. You're you're doing away with everything and everyone. And I honestly feel for a lot of you, this could be family. Um, friends, it don't even matter. You're, you've given too much of yourself. And now, and they've been un ungrateful. I just feel this lack of gratitude. And you see it and you're seeing it and it's stressed you. And of course, you've got suffering and sinus, nine of swords. Like you, you see it. It's just something that you see now. You know, you don't need to be loyal, king of pentacles to these people. You don't need to, if they're not bringing anything in return, you know, then you need to release them. And then once you clear that, those narcissists, you're, that's what I'm saying. You're, you're going to be the healing light to the right people. All right, so um, let me see what the guidance for you is. Spirit, what is the guidance for Aquarius? I already saw what that is. Passion, I love it. There is a burning fire. I mean, 
talk about fire. I can't with this reading. I love you, Aquarius. <laughs> I just do. You guys always give me these amazing readings. There's a burning fire inside of you waiting to come out. Time to get creative and work on what brings you joy and happiness. Doing what you love will give you energy and will attract like-hearted people to you. That's what I'm saying. The people the people you inspire are not going to be the same people so once you take away take back your energy because these are energy vampires clearly you've got energy vampires robbing you of your fire um and now once you're, you're going to find more energy i think you're you're de there's a depleted self here and time um a time of reprieve and 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 um rest you know at the same time to recharge and to rethink and this is going to change your the trajectory of your life like everything about your life is about to change here if those in this energy i love it so we've got three energies which i know this is important um first card is courage i follow the stream not knowing where it will take me but i no longer feel afraid yeah and this is the courage there's a, a fire again courage is strength so that's leo energy more fire energy you've got more courage more voice um but you no longer feel afraid retreat which is what i'm saying here take a break to clear your mind and energy ground yourself again you will find that once you take a step away aquarius that you will regain some energy and you you will start to realize how much they were they were eating away at you energetically and ego death yes a lot of you this is the self-actualization this is an awakening so as my ego dies my soul awakes to step forward and you are stepping forward now because now you understand your core strengths and use them to your advantage not to theirs, but to yours now. This energy belongs to you. This is for you. And this is what I have for you, Aquarius. So.